So this is a tutorial for Miku Miku Dance. Anyone who watched my tutorial from two years ago will notice that the screen has changed a little. It's all nice, new, shiny, few new things on here. Of course, I am covering majority of the same points. Um, there's just a few new things to add in. Let's load up a model. It's good old Miku Hatsune. So, loading up models piss easy. You just saw me do it. Um, first thing to note is screen controls. Um, you can right click and drag the screen around so you get full 360 view of your model. Um, if you left click it, nothing happens, but you can click the little green arrow up here and move it like so. And if you're using a proper mouse, not a laptop mouse, you can scroll to zoom, but otherwise you use the little magnifying glass. Easy peasy. Similar thing for actually moving the model. Um, you click this button down here to show her bones. You can click a bone, this one can be rotated. Yes, it can be rotated. Obviously once we've decided where we're going to move something, we register it. Now here's a nifty trick, if you want to do the same on the other side, copy, reverse, register. Now both our arms are down. Um, obviously some bones can be moved, but not all. Um, this one can be moved. Move her up, move it across, or we can grab the hand in the middle and move it wherever the hell we like. Um, don't like something you've done? Hit reset. You can also move from frame to frame to do that. Facials, uh, same as always. You click which facial you want from the different lists. Change her facials. Obviously, you reg click the little register button on each facial to set it. Um, some models have some really cool facials, some don't. Um, for those of you who like cheating, here's a good one you can load motion data. Um, I'll do Dancing Samurai. Dancing Samurai is good. Now because she's got lots of different frames registered on here now, um, I can just hit play and she will play through them all. Otherwise you type numbers in the little white boxes to register which ones you want her to play. all of this. She registered. You can also go to pause data. Um, all the pauses I get are from DeviantArt. So credit to all the DeviantArt users. Something you might note, um, in the newer Miku Miku Dances you can have physics in motion all the time. Very useful if you're wanting to create wind and such. Now, Miku Miku Effects is quite fun. When you download Miku Miku Effects, you just put it in the Miku Miku Dance folder. Doesn't matter where, just as long as it's in there. Same goes for the effects you download. Just put them anywhere, so long as you can access them again. Then you click Miku Miku Effects up here, and Effect Mapping. You then click which model you want, set effect, and where are they? There they are, effects. Most common one I've seen use is the adult shader. Can give your model very nice look if you know how to use it. So we'll just go on to here. Uh, majority of people turn the self shadow manipulation off if it's on. Uh, if it's not. I don't really know what you would do because you're obviously using an old version and making new effects probably won't work anyway. Now obviously with the camera you can move this about to like here and then you can click the little register on this one and that is now registered as part of your motion. 
So if I now go to frame 5, it'll jump me back there because it's registered as my motion. Um, delete that. Oh, so you've got the green box here where you can manipulate the colours of the light um, to however you want. And then direction, you can see the shadow moving there. And you can see the effect on the model as well. Some very skilled users are very good at manipulating light to create quite spooky effects. And obviously you would have to register it all once you were done. Um, now making eco effects can also be used to load different things up. So where am I? Um, you can do blizzards. I've got a nice blizzard here. It's an X file to load it as a background. And there you go, she's got a blizzard around her. Um, one thing I will say is I have noticed this does lag a little bit. Um, so if you were want to do a blizzardy scene, load the blizzard last. Um, it's probably the same for rain. There's probably not much else I can think of to cover, apart from maybe fixing motion data. Um, so I'll just show you how to fix... Well, it's not really fixing as such, it's more you've got a screwed up model so you need to edit it. Um, as a lot of my own made models are good for doing. Um, now I know this one does it, where is it? Uh, that one. I hope. Please don't crash. Hey, it's working. Right. So this is a model I made myself in PMD Editor. Loads of people do it. <coughs> can be quite complicated, can also be a piece of piss. Um, my current model, no. But as you'll notice when I loaded this earlier, MeQ stayed in the middle. And... Is it last? Yeah, Cito does not. Um, as you can see there, he's not in the middle anymore. He's jumped forward. That is because of some of his bones. I think his centre bone doesn't work properly. It doesn't affect the model as such, but... If this happens to you, all you do is go to edit, select our bone frame, select our facial frame, and it just be safe, it's that one as well. Then you click apply center position, and it's the Z1 when he's moved forward, because Z is blue. And I know from there, it's 25. And he's back in the middle. It's fixed. So that's a little handy trick that took me a month to find and figure out how to do it. So I don't think there's anything else that I can cover, but as always, if there is something you are unsure about, just ask. And I will do my best to help you figure it out, or I will just tell you because I know the answer. Who knows? But as always, I can always recommend DeviantArt as a good place to search tutorials for. It's where I get most of my help from. And a lot of forums, there are probably quite a few forums out there you could ask for help for and YouTube and Google they're all good <laughs>